What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. A middle of the week, we are still consolidating, sitting at that same price level. Okay, waiting for the rip to happen, guys. In this video, I want to talk about the Robinhood $70 million fine. I'm sure you guys have already heard about it already by the time this video is coming out, but I want to put a couple different pieces to the puzzle together for you guys. So let's dive into it really quickly. Here is an article I was reading talking about the $70 million fine. The key thing that I saw in this title, guys, was the largest ever FINRA penalty. So how many times have we talked about you know, hedge funds or brokerages breaking the law and literally getting a small slap on the wrist. 70 million might not be a huge stake when it comes to Robinhood, especially they, because they're about to go public for like a $30 billion valuation. However, they were only prepared, I think for $26 million fine, okay, which still was gonna be large compared to what FINRA penalties normally are. And getting slapped with three times the amount was absolutely just great news for us when it comes to against Robinhood. But what's even more important is how many times have I talked about the rule filings, okay? We go over here to the DTCC, all these rule filings, and I can read the comments, and I know some guys get a little bit discouraged. I also know some other people amp these things up, like saying, you know, the DTCC 005 is, is ready for tomorrow, and the stock's going to rip a 1,000%, and when it doesn't, it really just leads to false you know expectations which guys I, I by now if you've been on this journey you should be definitely man managing your expectations and your emotions okay we all should be sleeping very well at night but what i was able to kind of just think about in my mind after doing a little bit more research on finra and the sec and so forth is the sec oversees finra and acts as the first level of appeal for action as you can see i have highlighted right here it's a little bit different sec is a government association finra is a non-profit sec more has the backs of you know individual investors and and the finra more moderately oversees okay security exchanges such as brokerages such as robin hood and so forth a little bit different however the sec oversees finra just like they oversee the dtcc the nscc and the ficc okay so when a lot of you guys have been talking about oh no none of these real fines are going to matter the sec doesn't really have our backs i don't want to say they have anybody's back whether they do or they don't but i definitely see that the sec is really starting to crack down on some of this manipulation yes it might not be happening as quickly as some of us would like it to happen okay However, they are starting to open their eyes a little bit. And all of these little things that are happening are literally adding pieces to the puzzle. Okay, I'm not only gonna, I'm not just gonna talk about this bull pennant that we are still sitting in. Looks like we might break out into that consolidation 56, 26. We're down, what is it, you know, 16 cents right on the day, waiting for that rip. We're still respecting this trend line. As you can see, the last rip we had off of that, that was an intraday rip too, but it was up 54% waiting for that next breakout to happen. I even jumped over to yahoo and this is what makes me more excited when it comes to somebody who looks at technical analysis volume is low volume continues to be lower i mean as you can see guys look at these numbers okay 63 million traded however the price isn't tanking and a lot of times you see with low volume such as this compared to the 300 million where we were, where we were at is price tanking and that's not happening and then you also have look at the high and the lows of the day the gap is getting smaller and smaller when you scroll back out i mean look at this one 72 35 68 37 57 46 i mean even 51 39 the beginning of june 57 51 and as you're seeing right here it's getting tighter and tighter this is like a three dollar and 40 cent swing all right, at a price point of a high 50s, it's like a 5% swing. So that, that gap is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, forcing everything just tighter and tighter for eventually that breakout to happen. Last thing I am going to leave you guys with on this quick video was something that I read that really just resonated with me very well was a $20, quote unquote, a $20 stock is now consolidating at fifty dollars so guys do you remember okay and if you if you've been with me for a long time i know you remember back in february and march when we got a little bit beat down we're like okay we had some doubt a lot of us had some doubt okay and a lot of the comments still said well guys if all else is to be this is a twenty dollar stock 
this is a twenty dollar stock. There was many comments. There was many people saying like, okay, maybe you know it's not going to be you know it's not going to follow GameStop. It's not going to you know explode like it was because it went it stayed very low for a long period of time. But it, in the end, it is a twenty dollar stock as a reopening play, as a recovery play. You looked at some of the other theater chains. It's a twenty dollar stock. So when I read this, okay, so you're seeing a that fifty five to you know level of consolidation for quote unquote a $20 stock. Guys, that means there is a lot of pressure behind it, okay? They're waiting for that momentum to curl up. It's gonna pounce and it's gonna be another rip, all right? So stay patient, stay calm, guys. I hope you are all sleeping well at night because we are sitting at a really, really good point right here. That's it for this quick video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.